Cowboys and other hey, things. Hey, uh, oh, I forgot um, to turn on my camera. Hold on. Video. Maybe, maybe this, maybe this. I think if I do this before I go to the scene that has the camera in it, it won't be just a black square. Hey, everyone. Is it a black square? It's not. Hey, everyone. Oh, this is not a game, by the way. This is this is my desktop. Um, the the screenshot roulette has served up a kind of widescreen capture of a level one Rotundo Baggins playing Lord of the Rings Online. This is back when I played the game. I just thought it was cute that you play a quest as a chicken. Um, this is a. Uh, it's funny, like MediaTek as I use it is is kind of like my rotating desktop background where it's just a media. Uh, <laughs> Uh, uh, random media draw that also includes some like personal photos and uh, screenshots so it's this weird mix of uh, internet culture anyway the reason I'm on my desktop is because I've sold enough trading cards got a dollar 75 in the old steam wallet which means I can finish another uh, doom eternal badge so this is exciting um, this is essentially how I how I metagame steam is that every trading card I get I sell and then I use that money to buy cards to finish badges so I never put any of my own money in the system I just generously donate my time. Ah, shit. <laughs> Fuck. Also, Steam... Like, Steam is good because they now have this, like, buy the remaining cards button. But it's also kind of like a, a stock market where you put in a list buy price, and if there's nothing that matches it, you don't buy the card. Yes! So you have to try again. That's okay, though. Uh, now you get to... Yeah, digital card stonks. Exactly. So this is the big payoff of the stonk, level 4 badge. I think I think your badge only goes up to level 5. So this will be very exciting. Maybe my profile will level up, who can say? Uh, I got a, a Mankibus emoticon. 66% off Onichan Asobo. <gasps> I'm level 34! What? Never actually bothered to learn what's going on with Steam cards, I don't get it. Totally justifiable. Steam cards are dumb. They're dumb as hell. And I have two Mankibai now. Ooh, 80 gems. I got one in the last batch pass, I guess. Uh, yeah, it's... I got another one of these fucking... Why did I get another maker wallpaper or whatever? Gems! <sighs> Looks like your chicken was posing a, uh, for a music album. I kind of, yeah. Big Bok Energy. A little BBE. Alright, let's play Disco Elysium. So, uh, I played this for like about five minutes. So I have, I have kind of the concept of the game, but I don't... That should be centered, that's scaring me. Maybe? My computer's doing this thing now where, yeah, that fuck. My computer's doing this thing now where if, so I have my output duplicated to my monitor and the capture card. But now, oh wait, no, that looks fine, I think. Um, it is full screen though. Let's do this. No? Okay, it was actually, it was fine. Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right. Um, for, I've had a, this issue with a couple of games where uh, instead of, uh, I can't tell, I think this game's just really quiet. At least it is for now, I'll figure it out. Uh, where it'll like span both monitors um, because it doesn't, I guess, realize that it's cloned. So that's been an issue. Hey, Dogmeat1717, thank you for the sub. Also appreciate the Fallout reference. Can you put more time into this? Yeah, I... How... Without spoiling, this isn't really a spoiler. How long is a typical playthrough? Because it seems like the kind of game where you could play through it many, many times. Excuse me. And while that's going through the Twitch lag machine. Also, I'm drinking coffee, so I might be burpy. I've, I put... I've stayed away from coffee for five days. 30 to 35 hours! Fuck! Okay, we got a real video game on our hands. Um, here's the plan. I've never played through it before either. Um, I'm going to read a lot of the text descriptions, um, or all of them, I should say. So if you're if you're just watching along, you'll be getting the story of Disco Elysium as delivered by me. Um, I don't know how many characters there are. I think a lot, but part of it is voice acted. I don't know if all the characters are voice acted, but there's a ton. Like one of the brilliant things about this game is that they literalize internal monologues. So all of the like. You know when you have competing voices in your head, some of which come from different parts of your psyche or your background? Um, those are all sort of literalized as objects in the game that talk to you and even have discussions and conversations inside your own broken head. Um, there may be more to it than that. Like I said, I've only played it for about 15 minutes, but I love that approach as someone who often argues with, with myself. 
uh, constantly. It does sometimes feel like there's a cacophony of voices in my head all competing to, to deliver unto me the true thought. <sighs> okay. Very fun game. What is your build? We're about to find out. I think I'm going to go with Thinker first. I, I do have to admit that I often... Uh, I often gravitate towards stealth slash dis discussion slash charismatic character builds in games like this because in games like this often combat is not mechanically that interesting <laughs> so i find a lot more value in the dialogue the writing and solving quests through non-violent non-confrontational means um so character builds like that usually lead into that games like fallout are fantastic well fallout one and two fantastically fun to play that way um customer we riot are you sure create your own it's the gamer choice are you sure? But it's my first playthrough, right? Alright, fine. If you picked Malkavian and Bloodlines, you go for Sensitive. But when you pick Malkavian, it's usually your last run. Uh, I threw... It's funny, the, the one experience I had with Vampire the Masquerade, I landed on Malkavian because I was like trying to play a psychopathic character. Non-spoiler physical, decide your health pool. You can lose health for a lot of reasons you wouldn't expect. My character had one health and died in the first two minutes. I've heard that, actually. Yeah, that if you get a bad die roll, you can hang yourself on the... On the ceiling, the ceiling fan. Um, did my custom my first playthrough? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. You guys convinced me. I need more brain points. Jesus. I don't know if I should be that big brained. This is an amazing. Uh, this is an amazing stat screen, though. Oh my god. I am so I am so horny for like you find in indie games that kind of like lean on a lot of UX and UI to, to have a really strong aesthetic. I love it. It's something that I feel like sometimes gets a lot of do in AAA, but often Japanese games? You should have something in Psyche. Because I'll go insane. Sensitivity, how emotionally intelligent you are. Eh. Absolutely slam ass on the art, yeah. Emotions are for the weak. I agree. We're gonna play. We're gonna play big brain. Uh, big brain internet man. Facts and logic. Art of persuasion. Enjoy rigorous intellectual discourse. Well, lie and detect lies. Understand creativity. We can stuck crime scenes. Gosh. Oh, so you get one... you get one per... Ah! Okay, you get to... It's, it's, it is kind of like Fallout. You get to tag one skill. It seems like... <laughs> the Ben Shapiro run? Yeah. <laughs> AOC, don't bully me! No! Um... How do you unset the signature if you don't want... Okay. Visual Calculus is very fun to have levels in. So you can just like... That that feels like it's the... Uh, I can't remember the character's name, but like the... Investigator in Hannibal. Turn info in the top right if you want skill details. I don't see anything in the top right. Unless it was in the last page is what you mean. Oh, that's what you mean. Gotcha. Cool for undercover cops, thespians of the stage, and psychopaths. Drama urges you to treat the world as a stage, and on it to perform. It enables you to lie, to concoct the most elaborate and wonderful stories, to take on ingenious personas, and perform acts of stagecraft in an entertaining amalgam of forbury and deceit. I don't even know if that's how to pronounce forbury. Never heard that word before. As well, it enables you to see through would-be actors and their false antics. If they lie, you'll know. Immediately. At high levels, drama may render you an insufferable thespian, one prone to hysterics and bouts of paranoia. For to know the world is a stage is to know that truth is a vanity. However, with low drama, you cannot lie or discern when others lie. And a cop who can't do either is a cop who's soon going to be lying six feet under. Uh, but yeah, this game has a lot of vocabulary testers. I, I noticed that right away, as th this game likes to hit the uh, SAT skills right, right off the top. Uh, which is awesome. Uh, plus one bonus. Learning cap for every skill of the same type will be raised by plus one. Okay. Start of persuasion. 
And the music is already already fucking amazing. I don't know, maybe this is the Ben Shapiro run. Logic urges you to analyze the living daylights out of the case. It enables you to piece evidence together, detect inconsistencies in statements, and impress everyone with your astonishing conclusions. It's the bread and butter of many a detective. At high levels, Logic will be able to solve even the most complicated puzzle. You'll be very proud and thus susceptible to intellectual flattery. For those blinded by their own brilliance often miss important clues. With low levels of logic, you're going to have a hard time solving even the simplest puzzle. Even if you find the pieces, good luck putting them together. Yeah, this is some neckbeard shit. I do appreciate how they turn every skill into... They, they warn you that every skill has a negative if it gets too high, which is an awesome character build aspect. You can internalize communism to balance out the Shapiro-ness. Oof. Knowledge. Yeah. Gonna let, uh, watch Tim all throughout Funhouse. Maybe... Dying laughing more than he knows. Um, thank you, Tonic Toaster. Thank you so much. Oh, Scott Steiner with the big brain math. Thank you, Tonic. Uh, that's very nice to read. Yeah, I think I will go with Master Logician. I do some, and part of me enjoys playing too smart for their own good characters because I feel like to some degree it humbles me. Um, because, you know, you grow up being told that you're you're gifted and talented or whatever. You start to believe it a little too much, and then you just become an insufferable dickwad. I feel like there should be UI elements here. I can... Ah, fuck. What? I've got to use my logic to find the OK button. Maybe enter? Never seen this before. Yeah, I'll just try. No. <laughs> Turbo dart. <laughs> Crank strength and other stuff and get rid of intelligence. Yeah, those are the things that made me kind of really disappointed with uh, uh, more recent Fallout games. I remember playing Fallout 4 with like a one intelligence character and nothing was different. Like, the di all the dialogue options were exactly the same and it, it really sucked. I was like, man, Fallout is not what it used to be. The the fundamental game tenets are just not there anymore. It's not about role playing. Well, it it seems like it's the previous. Fuck. Verify game cache. Nah, I, I doubt that's the problem. Verifying the game cache has never done a single thing for, <laughs> for me ever. Um. Have you guys ever, ever, once, had your game, had your game, uh, get fixed because you validated the files? I think one of the worst applications of that is in Fallout 2, if you play as low-end woman, and you meet the kid who invents Jet. Really? Okay. Alright, well. I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. I'll try it. I gotta stop. I gotta stop thinking that I'm smarter than chat. See, I'm already getting. In, I'm already getting in character here. All right, let me validate these files. Uh, what uh? So what? What is that? What is that quest? Um, is that one of those like, ugh, '90s gaming may not have been as good as we thought. Uh, relaunching would probably fix. Okay, I'll check it out. Um, Bob Dole. <laughs> Thanks for gifting out a sub. So so glad to have Bob Dole in chat. The files are in the computer. I actually can't restart my computer for three days. I need to have an uptime of at least three days because I am currently downloading a Game Boy Advance ROM Mega Pack, and it's from some shady ass site that's only letting me download at 50k a second. So there's really no one else that I rather Google didn't deliver to me any other download links for a. Uh, 3100 Game Boy Advance Mega Pack, so. <laughs> That's the most Lawrence statement you've ever heard. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. Uh, so, I am not allowed to have any catastrophic computer faults. I'm not allowed to have anything that doesn't work. Luckily, uh, really, with Windows 10, you can, you can kill pretty much every process and bring it back up. And 
Chrome is pretty good at staying running. So, as long as Chrome Chrome is cranking away and keeping that keeping that file coming, everything's fine. Okay, files validated. I don't think there was a problem, but uh, can somebody validate that I'm not missing? Like, this this is the border of the screen. I'm not. I mean, it looks like it's it's justified correctly. I just want to make sure that the the game is not like drawing out of bounds. I guess I did switch it to windowed and it looks fine. Yeah, never mind. All right, the screen looks right to me. All right, yep, yep, we're on. We're in uh, big dial-up hours now. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Look at that. Look at that. Chat was right again. Chat, how you got, how can you guys handle being so right all the time? How can you handle humbling? Humbling a world-class streamer like this. Can you go chat an apology? I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry. There is nothing. Only warm, primordial blackness. Your conscious for men, Cine. No larger than a single grain of malt. You don't have to do anything anymore. Ever. Never. Eva. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. Give me some more. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon nothing. No, I like nothing. I know you do, baby. I know. Hey, how about you cough up some more of that sweet oblivion? Coming right up, sir. Smooth. Hey, Alan Z, let's go. Right. Nothing town to fuck all, Borough. I return trip to the silence place. You want me to upgrade that to a one way trip, sir? Hey, don't stop, keep singing. Sing me the song of death. The song of death is sweet and endless. But what is this? Somewhere in the sore, bloated man meat around you. A sensation. Just keep in mind that you're not a good person. Yeah. It seems pretty clear that you're just a pile of shit. This is the open dialogue from Pitch Black. <laughs> oh, the Twisted Metal series? Man. I never really got into Twisted Metal that much, but... Uh, maybe I should go back and explore it. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine of pain and undignified suffering is firing up again. It wants to walk the desert, hurting, longing, dancing to disco music. Ah, uh, stop. I don't want to hear anything more about this sensation. Take me back to the formless, disembodied nothing. The stench of liquor rises from your mouth. And with it, an ungodly headache. I uh, help. Someone cut my head off. It's trying to murder the rest of me. A fiery streak penetrates your skull, trying to force your eyes open. It's a sound. A clarion call from hell. What's up, Carla? My success, uh, my encyclopedia stat says somehow you know what it is. A Kupri Kinema motor carriage. Open my damn eyes. Why is your id Murdoch from Gorillas? <laughs> Here's your hero for today. Uh, that's some noise, yeah. I guess that's what a car sounds like when you're really fucking hungover. Interesting. First time I played, that uh, that dialogue with my id went on for, I want to say, about ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> hi, everyone. Hey, Josh. How you doing? This magnum-sized bottle of Commodore Red is empty. <sighs> Get my fucking pants.
perception a hearing check. You hear a jingle. Keys are clinking in the pocket of your flare-cut pants. We'll fish him out. It says whirling in rags on the aluminum key ring. There's a single key on the ring. The number n number one is etched on it. It should open the door. Uh, we'll see. We will see about that. Yeah, tab highlights things. The window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. I'll use my visual calculus to assess the damage. Here's what I think. Uh, here's what I'm hoping for is that... Um, when there's like a really intense or like 50-50 decision, I'm gonna throw it to Twitch chat because there's like there's there's a built-in poll feature now, uh, and you guys can vote on what you want to do. So I'm I'm hoping that'll be a fun way to uh, to assess it. So there's a visual calculus check here. Ding. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. I break this with my own hands. Like I, do you ever hear the main character's voice? Because I don't want to get too much into it <laughs> if I'm way off of what he sounds like. Is there a time limit on decisions? Yes, I can I can set the time limit. Okay, you never hear him. Great. Okay, so I'll make him sound like uh, a more conscious version of his own id then. That's the beginning. What are your stats? Uh, high intelligence, basically. Uh, yeah, the, the, the time limit. Oh, oh, you mean time limit in the game or... In Twitch, I can I can set the time limit in Twitch. I don't know about it. I don't think there's one in game. They usually let you. There might be later. I I don't know. People is voting just typing in the chat. That's a good question. I think you have to click. Um, and I, I'm not. I don't know what it looks like on mobile yet either. So truth be told, this is me kind of testing out the uh, the poll feature too. So we'll figure it out together. Did I break it with my own hands? A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand, but none of it is recent. Now what did this say? More likely a projectile than a held object. There are no fragments on the floor from pulling a tool back in after impact. Well, let's assess the size of the impact. It's too large for a bullet, yet too small for a piece of furniture. You're looking for something heavy and larger than your fist. Like the green shoe. It's on the hat rack in the corner, which coincidentally is missing its friend. Congratulations, you smashed the window with your own shoe. Now you only have one. If you're lucky, you can still find it on the other balcony outside. Or find the other on the balcony outside. The door to it should be outside your room. I don't need it. I don't need anyone. I gained experience. The window agrees. Its cracked smile is cold and sparkly. Fuck you, shoe. Piece of shit, shoe. Alright. Time to get a tie. This fan has two pull, ch pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. The other in a light bulb. A truly horrific necktie has somehow attached itself to one of the blades. Okay, this is a good time. This is a white check, you may retry it. Oh, okay. Oh, so there's different kinds of skill checks. You should look in the mirror. I'll get there eventually. Uh, so let's, let's check this out, let's check this out. Um, well, I can make it so you can use bits. Or use, hmm, or use points. Okay, let's try this. Star pull. Let's see how this works. Um, hopefully that's visible and useful for people. It's not very clear, but white checks can be retried after you satisfy certain conditions. You can't just endlessly retry them immediately. Ah, okay. All right. Works on mobile. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that uh, they that the polls work on mobile. I think what I saw is that to use bits or points, you have to be on desktop. I think that might be the case. Oh, I can add a browser source too. Well, what do you know? Hold on, let me let me try this. Let me try this here. Whoop! You just added a new browser source. Well, gosh darn! Ain't that great? Um, whoop! Hold on a second. Let me see if I can type this in before it disappears. Oh! Oh! I see. Okay. That's kind of cool. Uh, hopefully, it just disappears. Uh, where would a good place for this poll be? I guess, like, right here. Hopefully that's, like, always... 
always under. It seems really tiny though. I mean, I can scale it up a little bit. Maybe just at the bottom. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Wait. Oh, you, I want it to be smaller. That's right. Because that'll make the text larger. Sort of. There we go. Okay. Wow. That white text on blue. So, okay. Top left? Yeah, I guess. Uh, does it ever go away? Doesn't go away on its own? Even if the pull's over? No? You just don't... I just gotta turn you off manually? Hmm. Okay. I think I can do that. Again, we're learning here. That's weird. It'd be nice if it uh, disappeared on its own. Maybe if I close that window. Nope, still there. Okay. Well. <sighs> you just have to get a stat boost or level up skill somehow. New gear will count as stat boost to enable the retry and failed white skill checks to be more specific the last than the last person was. Understood. All right. Uh, polls are only yes and no, is that true? No. I can type in up to four options and make them whatever I want. Should be used for Witcher with a shirt. How? That's more of a rolling timer thing. Um, yeah. Alright, let's try it. 42%. Chat has demonstrated. Ooh. Failure. You reach out to grab the tie, but what's this? Diffuse, radiating chest pain. Doom comes over you. I grab my chest. Ugh. This is bad. Feels like sharp stones grinding in your chest, keeping you from moving. For quite a long time. Still ongoing. Now's a good time to start worrying. Finally, the pressure recedes. You find yourself covered in cold sweat and trying not to move. Hopeful, hoping it will keep you from dying. Okay, so now the white, the check is locked. I'm shocked I got my health back. Okay. I'm pulling the vein. The blades come squeaking to a halt. It should now be easier to reach the tie. And the I got a bu buff to my chance. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap! It's released from the blade. What you have in your hand is a truly hideous necktie with four or five different patterns. The knot reminds you of a noose. Let's pull on the light. Ugh. Terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning a hole into your brain. Let's turn the lights back off. Can you kill yourself? Uh, with <laughs> just pants and a tie? Perfect. If you had one health, that would have been instant death. Yeah, you're right. That's so awesome. Man. Oh, wait. Uh, oh, GTA VODs? You stop playing music when somebody subbed. Yes, I did stop. Um, yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't so much... I mean, Kali, you're mostly right. It wasn't so much a hassle, more that it would just become astoundingly disruptive. Uh, you can die right here. Light can kill you. Awesome. Killing yourself to create it in unexpected ways is a quarter of the fun of this game. Nice. <sighs> Take a nice jacket. A disco ass blazer. Nice little disco ass. Yeah, we'll get to that mirror eventually. You see bottles in the bathtub. Wine, beer, and sweet liqueurs. White satin shirt gained. Well, there, I'm looking ready for, ready for the work day. Mirror. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. In a fierce discharge of masculine energy, someone has ripped half the faucet off. Conceptualization success. Was this not the same Elon that founds empires and lays waste to cities virile and caring towards the little things? Jesus Christ. Logic says probably not. No. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base, and steam covers the mirror. You cannot see yourself, just a vague impression of a man. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really? Nothing? Really. All your recollection of the person you are, the people, you, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood alcohol. This was no mere night of drinking. It was a deluge of world-ending proportions. Let's wipe the mirror. 
An Elon is an energy of self, like your vibe. Ah, okay, thank you, Buska. As you reach your hand towards the surface of the mirror, the Inland Empire check says, Abort! You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you will see there, and you will never unbecome it. Well, maybe I should touch it first. Make sure there's nothing wrong with my face. Yeah, there's definitely something wrong with it. Huh? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What I'm getting from this game so far is a playable version of Dostoevsky's Notes from the Underground. Hmm. I've never read that, so I couldn't say. Where to even begin? There's the bloatedness, and then the swollenness. It's like you're, it's like there's a pul an upholstery of alcohol underneath your skin. At least my tongue is okay, he says, touching his nose. It's not, says the mirror. It's swollen and snail-like wriggling between your fingers. I'm sorry. Touch your nose. Bet you are. Your nose feels like a small balloon in the middle of your face. It hurts when you honk it, and it doesn't appear to be at a particular <laughs> it doesn't appear to be a particularly tiny nose either. Not with all the drinks it's absorbed for you. <sighs> Alright, let's wipe the mirror now. Behold! You have no idea who this thing is, do you? Dear Lord help me, what is this? Whatever it is, at least it's dead now. There's clearly rigor mortis on your face. Or wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an expression with that face? I'm not making it the face, is making it itself. Please stop. It's horrible. You're scaring yourself. No. You can't, can you? It's like it's not even voluntary anymore. You've worn that grin into your face and now it won't come off. What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? Hmm. Shit. I'm insinuating that I'm vaguely sympathetic. I think I'm sort of pulling it off, too, in a sad has-been kind of way. There is some charm to it. There might have been, ten years ago. It's a little more than a cadaverous spasm now. Oh, Christ. <laughs> Attempt to stop the expression from happening? I guess I don't have knowledge of my own brain chemistry to even try that. So when it's, like, very low, basically you have to roll double sixes. <laughs> These are archetypal answers that will shape your future language. This happens a lot. Oh, based on how you talk to your own internal conversation or your own internal uh, dialogue. Gotcha. Uh, we'll try an encyclopedia roll. Ooh, failure. Like the rest of you, it comes from a bad place somewhere in the past. That's all you know for now. I mean, there's. Some some stat checks have no negative consequence for failure, right? Oh Christ, look at my photo. God, what a what a dipshit of a human being, Christ. This game is su surprisingly funny but bleak, yeah. Yeah. Let the mirror be for nail. Some stat checks are totally fine, okay. You can't tell what consequences until you try? God, I love it. I fucking love it. These are the games that seem to get closest to kind of reinterpreting pen and paper RPGs, which is kind of half the point of uh, computer RPGs, or at least in the early days, it kind of was. Got an empty cassette case, that's nice. Looks like somebody tore out the tapes while the song was playing. Couldn't have been me. It's real the real tape player still on, rolling empty. Used to be taped in this case, but it was destroyed in a fit of rage. Something about the Ateneer's single smallest church in St. Saiyans? Must have rubbed somebody the wrong way. The label said the recording is in 43. Can't, I guess I can't. Can you? That's cool. Can you use items in the world? Hmm. Maybe not. Or you have to put it in your hands, maybe? Can't do that. Okay, never mind. What do your clothes give you stats? Nice. It's like uh it's like cyberpunk. What's up, Rock Lobster? I bet if you're David Lynch, this game is like Animal Crossing. 
The writing this game is top notch, but maybe overwhelming in long gameplays. Just, just why this is faux Earth, Earth like, but totally different places. Yeah. Oh no, conversation. Hello, officer. March fifty one. The young woman raises a cigarette to her lips. Her eyes are brown and her face is speckled with birthmarks. She can't be more than 28. A silver jumpsuit falls off her like scale armor, sparkling. This is the sparkle of too many nights out on the city. Jeez. Hmm. Hold on a second. I feel like these are these are really easy pulls so far, but that's fine. Couldn't say the word slob? That's weird. Very bizarre. Interesting. <sighs> Crack noir. <laughs> How do the polls work? Is it on the Discord? No. Um, depending on what your what client you're watching from, it should be right over chat. Do you need to spend uh, points to vote, or just do you want to vote more than once? It's if you want to vote more than once. Everyone gets one vote, um, and then if you want to vote again, you can use channel points or bits, it seems like. Just show up at the top of chat. Okay. See, that's what's weird, is I don't even, I don't even really... Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I'm, I'm still learning this, too. It's like real voting. <laughs> exactly. Shockingly, that one. Ugh. Okay. Why is it white text on, like, teal? Holy crap. If I hit that button, does that make it go away? Oh, okay, if I hit the delete poll button. Alright, that's how to make it disappear. Gotcha. Alright. Officer, am I military personnel? Uh, no. She seems perplexed by your question. Wait, I know, I'm a businessman. Chief Executive Officer, right? The young woman shakes her head slowly. Conceptualization. Officer could be an artistic statement, a claim to official renown. Um, this is me talking to myself, I guess. Officer is my stage name, right? I can see. Oh, wait, am I talking to her? I think I'm talking to her. <laughs> I can see myself as a middling disco artist now. I'd call it the officer. Or that's too wild. Chief technical officer is what I am. I guess these are like. Yeah, character determining statements. That's kind of cool. No. You're Sh a police officer, sir? You're shitting me! I'm not. Unless you've been shitting us all this time. She takes another drag. All this time? You've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. And what business is that? I couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. Logic check, you have no doubt about the drinking, but do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. Try the expression on her. Let her know you want her physically. Oof. Yeah, 8% chance sounds about right. Uh, questions, are you talking out loud? No quotes is internal. Important distinction for later. Okay, great. Thank you. That's exactly what I was curious about. Ah... Uh, I like this one. Who in their right mind will let me be an officer of the law? Don't be so harsh on yourself. You let almost anyone be a police officer. Why don't I remember being a... <sighs> fucking the, I'm fucking the accent badly, but that's fine. Why don't I remember being a cop or anything else? Anything else? Could it be because of the drinking? She raises an eyebrow. The cigarette sizzles. I should get going there. Or maybe number one? Hmm. I might not know where I am or who I am. Or what a Cooper's Kanima is, but I know what one sounds like. She nods. But I do know that when someone's not telling me the whole story, what am I doing here? What is my case? How's she gonna know? <laughs> she takes a long drag before speaking. There's a mercenary on back. He's been hanged. 
The body's been there for a week now. The locals probably got tired of it and called the cops. And why didn't you just tell me that? I didn't mean to overwhelm you with information. You seem a bit lost, officer. Hmm. I should get going now. Of course. Be careful, officer. They don't like the police around here. Reaction speed. Success. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. They need to ask questions. It's like you've said the words a million times before. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Oh, okay, yeah, that's internal. Okay. Before you go, I have some questions for you. Yes? Oh boy. What exactly is it they have against the police here? The dock workers are pretty cocky. They think they're police enough, at least here on the coast. Can't say that about the rest of the city. Where exactly is here? Where am I? You're in a hostel, sir. No, where are we? Where in the world? We are in Revacol. Encyclopedia's chipping in. Revacol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a failed world revolution, she is central to our moment in time. Should that mean something to me? You sure look like you're from Revacol. Revacol parties. Her accent suggests she is not from around here. She's from Oranje, another part of the world. Classier? Oh boy. Did I, pre did I prepare for a lot of reading? Enough, I guess. Um, Oranje? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna need some uh, uh some pronoun Revishal? Okay. I'm gonna need a, a whole lot of a lot of gut checks, I think, on pronunciations. Tell me, is it fifty one now? It's fifty one. What century? The current century. In what set? What number? Oh god, time's going in real time? Shit. Centuries don't have numbers, they have names, and this is the current one. Well, yeah, how many centuries have there been then? Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. She grins. Hey, what's so funny? You're right. Her expression turns serious. There is nothing funny about civilization. Your room is almost next to mine. Did you hear anything last night? There was the usual ruckus. She shrugs. Loud disco music. Did I have any visitors? I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. She nods to room number three. Loud disco music? Oh yes, various artists. Ostentatious orchestrations, prime among them. She raises an eyebrow, waiting for the name to connect with you. Oh, that. Yeah, woo! Less said about OO, oh, oh, the better. <laughs> oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like seven. Life gets hard, she sings, but we go on. Yeah, we go on all right. Oh, it mostly just gets hard, doesn't it? It would appear so. At around two o'clock, the disco stopped, and there was a change of pace. What happened? A slow, sad song started playing, like organ music, on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling along to it. What was I singing? That it doesn't matter anymore, and that we are all alone now. It was difficult to tell. The sound itself was very quiet and soft. It just sounded like a wounded boar, sir. It's hard to understand what you were singing on top of it. <laughs> when you say wounded, do you mean that in a cool way, like a wild beast? Yes, it was very cool. It's impossible to say whether she's being sarcastic or really means it. Huh, then what happened? Then you started screaming and trashed the place. Huh, that's so me. What did I do? A window was smashed. The tape player probably, the song stopped, and furniture too. A real destructathon. Then there was screaming. Then, I think, you passed out. This is reminding me of Batman Forever. That's kind of the point.
You can barely hear music in the background? Damn. Please tell me there wasn't anything else. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal anymore. I may have misheard, but it was sort of memorable. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet then, around four or five. She nods. And that was it. Okay, you can go now. Glad to have been of assistance. That verb was much more depressing. Aranya? <laughs> For orange. Free cigarette? I guess I can't get my other shoe. Ah, oh, maybe. It's the weekend edition of the satirical newspaper Trompe Le Monde. Nothing on the front page rings a bell. Strange. Are you smoking yet? Not yet. That would probably help with hangover. To tell them where the shoe is? They already... They, well... Oh, I, I guess it would be that kind of neighbor. Hey, free money. I think I just robbed a tip from somebody. Okay. Oh, you can click to run. Okay. The color of the little thought bubbles or interactables correlate to the stat they're related to, I believe. The smell of the sea makes you dizzy. Hey, shoe acquired. Ah. Composure. There they both are. Two identical shoes, both copiously green and indiscriminately safe snakeskin, reunited on your feet. Like two baby crocodiles. How do they feet? Good. They're good. They're balanced. Comfy. It's like the only good thing to you right now, truth be told. I did it. Okay, morale. Interesting. Got a little boost of morale by putting on my shoes. I gotta be down there. Those little thought bubbles can have flavor or be important missable info. I love it. I love it. New quest. Get better clothes, you dope. A lot of nothing going on in my my uh, my head right now. Brother BD, thanks for the prime sub. The map will show white checks that are available. All right. God, this artwork is absurd. I feel like there hasn't really been a top-down point-and-click like this since like 2005, like Longest Journey, all the Siberia games. <laughs> Hey, Rubber Soul. Thank you for the resub. Yeah, I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. I don't know why it's taking me so long. There's so many, so many things to click on. Gart, or Garte? Garta? The cafeteria manager, a man in his late 20s, stands behind the counter inspecting a stuffed seabird. As you approach, he gives you a sideways glance, then looks down again. That was disdain in his eyes. Even now he's purposefully ignoring you. Something tells me you don't like me. Oh no. You're a hero. A real hero, cop. I can never tell when they're gonna talk or not. Could the massive property damage upstairs have anything to do with this? So not only am I a cop, but I'm also a hero? Yes, you are. A real decorated hero. What did I do? What did you not do? First, you took the body down. Then you solved the murder. Then you didn't trash my hostel room. Maybe you even negotiated the strike. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm guessing I didn't do any of those things. You're right. You didn't. And it's only taken you three days not to. Hmm. What have I been doing all that time? Have you seen me around? No, I haven't seen you around. I'm not always here. He looks down again and keeps plucking the bird. <sighs> Let's look at that stuffed bird. 
A competent work of taxidermy, the white and brown seabird lies among piles of coasters and drying mugs. One of its wings is broken. The man is trying to mend it. Looks like the bird was ripped off the shield that it was used to mount it. Most likely on a wall. This is the Great Skua. The seabird is a symbol for the discovery in the Isolindian Isola? Isola? Part of the world you are in right now. Christ. Hey, that's the Great Skua, right? Look, your buddy is over there. He looks at the doors where a man in a bomber jacket is tapping his foot on the floor. You gonna use your voice? No, that so going like low and gravelly that like that doesn't actually stretch my or stress my vocal cords. There's other kinds of gravel like this. This is very stressful. This is not so stressful because it's I don't know. It's a different kind of thing. Why don't you go and talk to him, okay? I'm a cop and I can talk to whomever I please. You can hear it because like it's bad because my voice cracks sometimes and that means it's when it's crack cracking that means I'm forcing it too much. Um, the, and and part of this part of this process is to like figure out what my vocal cords can do sustainably and what they can't. The doors bolted. A sign reads "Kitchen reserved for personnel until 1300." Okay. You're facing things you may or may not have done. You usually have the option to build out of a, out a personality of delusional superstar, suicidal bad boy, or hair trigger authoritarian. I'm gonna try to do a good snake, it hurts my voice. Yeah. David Hayter, especially in Metal Gear Solid 4, I don't know how he had any vocal cords, because it sounded like he was just graveling as hard as he could. Especially in 4. Um, 4 kind of hurted. Hurt. Uh, yes, vocal training. All my training is popping off in my head. Oh. Hey, if you have tips, share them. I've never, I've never done any official vocal training, so... Which is not good, actually. Um, man. For the amount of, like, talking <laughs> that streamers have to do, that hosts have to do, uh, and I remember... What's up, Stephs? Are these mankeys? Are they eating little fruits? I'm chomping down the bridge. Oh! Shit. I figured you would like this. I do like that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. It's like, little... too big! Too big, Grape! I Look. must eat at corners! Yeah, that reminds, it, that reminds me of me. You're like a tiny monkey that yeah. eats grapes? I love grapes. They're wonderful. Yeah, those monkeys are loving those cute. grapes. Anyway, I know, uh, I'm getting ready to... Sorry about the drop can. Oh. I'm getting ready to head out and go... Go do the, the pickup. Okay. Soda Come on, I'm gonna say bye to Steph. I'll be right back. Okay. What the? Wait, what's going on? Why did it automatically switch to that? Hmm. Is OBS getting smart? Who knows? I also forgot to pause the game, so lost about 10 minutes there, but that's okay. Um. Oh yeah. To, to I guess finish my thought from earlier. Um. There were a number of times, like, just working at Rooster Teeth where we'd have to talk, sometimes animatedly, for like eight hours a day, and I would come home and, like, my throat would just be sore as hell. Especially after RTX, man. Because that's like, that's like non-stop talking for 18 hours a day, for three days straight. Some of which is at a, like, a VIP event trying to scream over PA music. Oh, time doesn't- Oh, time only passes when you have conversations and something else. Oh! Okay. Um, yeah, a lot of the, uh, a lot of my RTX experiences taught me that, yeah, not only are vocal cords something that degrade or, or wear down through use, but also that you can kind of train them up. I uh, just finished my second year of acting training, so I'm no expert, but I've been doing it for a while now. Well, you know, Coonster, I, I appreciate any insights you can share, because I haven't done any official or professional training myself. Hello, beautiful senpai. Wireless this mouse is charging and I don't have the right batteries. Uh, that's the appropriate emote. Is there no way to plug it in? Usually there is. Hello, but sweetie. Maybe not all of them. You shouldn't keep your colleague waiting. Very well. Kim Kitsuragi, a bespeckled man in an orange bomber jacket, is tapping his foot on the floor. Looks like he's waiting for someone. You. Yeah, Mr. Hollywood over here. <laughs> As you approach, he narrows his eyes and extends his hand in greeting. 
Let's not shake his hand. I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. Oh no. If I have to read for this guy, I'm gonna have to figure out a way to not be astoundingly racist. You realize he's waiting for your name. Hmm. Partial to the officer? This is a red check. It cannot be retried. Uh, and yeah, no real major plot yet. If you want to get into it, it's a lot about support and warming up. Oh, for vocal performance? Hmm. Interesting. Yes. Roll a conceptualization check to make up a name. Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep golden orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. You're two steps closer to it, but there are still many to go. Uh, I'll just play this. Oh, the Noif accent? I can try. I can try. At least if I do that, then it's obvious it's a self-effacing parody and not actively offensive to uh, all, all Asian cultures on the planet. Because God knows... God knows they outnumber me. Just being, be an edgelord? It is not yet time. I don't really know my name. Okay, then. He processes the information, then disregards it. It looks like we had a little scheduling error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you had time to talk to the manager here? Uh... The descriptions in this game really make you feel how dirty and painful some shit is. It made me feel physically gross many times. That's, that's the power of good writing. When it's not just like... This is actual good writing! Um, where like... They can dig into the human experience and translate that to you as a reader. Good writing is not... You know... I don't... I, like I... Final Fantasy VII Remake. Like, I don't know what any of that is, but very little of it is, is like... Genuinely good writing. It's just fun. It's popcorn. Um, nah. Whatever. There. I'm done. Uh, it's hard as fuck to do. Yeah, it is. Uh, what he means is he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. Uh, you've been able to have time to talk to the manager. Hello, Northern Beast. Good writing moves from emotive and descriptive core of the human experience. Oh, damn. Yeah, you're right. What is your name? Ray. And your last name? Christ. Anyway, sorry. I, I didn't mean to be exclusionary. Uh... I take that back, what I said about 7 Remake, because I do think there are some moments of very good writing in there. It's also like, it's I think it's unfair to judge art, or judge writing, um, without acknowledging its intent and its audience. 7 Remake is just trying to be some fun anime for people. This is trying to really dive into what it's like to be a decaying uh, shitbag of a human <laughs> with no, uh, no self-respect or uh, like, yeah, pretty much that. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, time to talk to the manager here. I guess I'll, yeah, cafeteria manager. You mean him? No, it's towards the cafeteria manager. Yeah, I just talked to him. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Know that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? <sighs> I... I have, yes. Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. They had to send another and police officer. The dead body from the tree. <laughs> I don't... <laughs> God. This is so bad, man. I'm just getting called out on doing jack shit for three days and now I have to lie my way through it. Yeah, too, is... I, absolutely okay. I, I, <clears throat> I don't like dead bodies. Sure. But did you take it down from the tree? N no. So the body is still in the tree. It's the first time you detect a weariness in the lieutenant's voice. It's obvious he would have preferred for the body to no, no longer be in the tree. If it's been there for three days, I fuck me. For seven days straight. Seven. We Shit. should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. <sighs> should I keep bluffing my way through this? Jeez. I guess so. I'm kind of along for the ride now. 
Hey, let's get going then. After you, officer. You're about to embark on an investigation. Shouldn't you have a badge? Wait, shouldn't I have a badge or something? You... You mean you don't have a badge? How's that for the knife guy voice? There's something off about it. It's not quite right. They, that knife guy has such amazing phonetic... Phonetic jumble. I'll have to... I have to... I'd have to study it more. Try making it more French? Jesus. <laughs> Sounds like those aliens from Phantom Menace. I'm okay with that. Kim sounds kind of French. Huh. I think that's just the, the slight, like, Japanese list. But I don't get a whole lot of French there. Um, it's closer to a Shanghai-type accent. Hmm. Yeah, I could see that. Studying for Knife Guy to cut the video loop? Yeah. He, he wasn't on me when I woke up. New task. Report your bag and badge missing. <sighs> I can't. I can't do it. Losing your identification card is a serious matter. My vehicle has a short wave. You can use it to report your badge is missing. I advise you to try and locate it as quickly as possible. But getting the body down should still take precedence. Hopefully that was not too insulting. <laughs> Maybe it was too bad. <laughs> ah! Drop the thing I was messing with. This is what happens when a baby plays with guns. Is it French? It really doesn't sound French. But then again, I, I don't know linguistics that well. Kim Katsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by clicking on him. Alrighty. We have an act. God, he looks so much cooler than I do. It's French? Yeah? Okay. Interesting. Yes. Is it? Hmm. I... Yeah, Kim is 300% cooler than me. He's got gloves, too. Yeah. I think you should know that I can't remember anything. No response. He just arches his brow. He's having trouble processing it. Believing it, even. Hmm. I feel like I must repeat this. I don't remember anything. There was heavy drinking involved. Shit. <laughs> it's a mixture of Parisian and Shanghai Asian. Jesus Christ. That's a really cool that's a really cool linguistic thing to do. I don't know either of those accents though. Have you tried concentrating on something other than your personal affairs? There was a sudden harsh edge to his voice, like he's tired of hearing about your personal affairs. <sighs> Fine. Focus on other people's troubles, not your own. That is, that is the relief. Damn it! Sorry. I'm fidgeting with something because uh, I'll put that down. Still not French. I don't know what you want from me. Okay, forget it. <laughs> A moment passes. The lieutenant glances at the sports watch on his wrist. Hey, tell me about the case. What do you want to know? Literally anything about it. I can't remember a single thing. You gotta stop that. What, dropping it? <laughs> Maybe you can tell me what you do know to help me narrow it down a bit. A young woman. <clears throat> the empathy check is there as you noticing his response? Yeah. A young woman. A young woman told me a mercenary's been hanged. That's all. Then you're not that far behind, actually. Do you want me to brief you? Brief, yes, that sounds good. Three days ago, the RCM Emergencies Desk received a report about a security guard who was found hanged in Martinez. An automated caller said there was a dead body behind the Whirling and Rags hostile cafeteria. The cadaver had been there for four days. No one had come to investigate. During that time, the victim had been stripped of his belongings. The caller did not identify him, but only used the word lynching. There was an ongoing labor dispute between the local dock workers and the logistics company Wild Pines. I was told we should approach the death as part of this dispute. Yeah, see? It's just practice. Hey, who was the caller? To find him or her is one of our tasks here. For now, 
All we know is that the tone was muffled using a device of some sort. The desk could identify neither the caller's age nor sex. Hey, why hide themselves? There's a strong prejudice against involving the RCM in what's seen as union matters. The Dark Workers Union is the de facto police in Martinez. Now, it appears they've started executing, too. We cannot allow that. Hey, hey, wait, hold on. And the RCM is... That's us. The Revachal Citizens Militia. We are the police in this city. The RCM, or Revachal Citizens Militia, is a police force you and him are part of. A self-organized peace corps of the occupied city of Revachal. The RCM operates within a legal twilight, yet its authority is rarely questioned. It's, it's super useful to know this. <laughs> uh... Yeah. That's pretty wild. Uh, somebody asked what year this is? It's kind of like... It's 51, but not 1951. It's 51 in some alternate timeline and some other... in some other reality. Of course, yes. I understand everything now. Whoops! I clicked the wrong thing. <laughs> I actually said this instead. Uh, ooh, I got the secret task. Oh, that's kind of cool. Authority rarely questioned, yeah. General level of tech, uh... It seems like what? I would say mid-80s, maybe? No, 60s, probably, because there was a reel-to-reel -reel tape tape player. There's clearly a electricity. Um, I would say more like mid-70s? mid, mid -70s, Which almost kind of vibes with the cop being an utter shitbag. Um, just like being a drunk. And also, like, cops not really being enforcers of... Justice, more just like assholes with guns. Like that's such a '70s vibe. I feel like. Again, I don't. I don't know how that reads in European culture. Um, yeah, and disco. That's true. Disco music. So a lot of this, and even even this character with his crazy mutton chops and mustache, reads very '70s to me. Also, his clothes, like green and tan, uh, and <laughs> alligator skin shoes. There are many secret tasks you can complete. One tip I would say is that although you have the ability to exhaust all dialogue trees, in some cases it can cause you more problems. The person you're talking to can get agitated by all the questions. I love that, Dworkstein. Um, I feel like in dialogue trees, if you're a lore master such as myself, there's not a lot of reason to not traverse every possible path because then you get more experience or learn more about the world. I love it in games where you need to be a little more careful about what you say and how much. Uh, because then you can actually get more into the roleplay of it instead of just clicking everything, clicking through everything robotically. <sighs> oh no, I don't know that I want to press this, but I kind of do. Really counters the gamer thing of exhausting everything. Yeah, no, I prefer that. I prefer I prefer making intelligent choices versus grinding through content. You know. There's a voice that it sounds like he doesn't even care when he talks. Yeah, it sounds like he's just hyperclinical, like he's used to. He's used to chopping his emotions out of out of his job, which is the perfect person to send to make up for what whatever piece of shit I am. Oh, if we're on the same, if we're from different precincts, why are we on the same case? I'm afraid you and I are pawns in a he considers the phrasing a pissing competition. What do you mean? You don't know? His eyes narrow. I assumed you were in on it. You know when I'm on in on retrograde amnesia. Better still than an imbecilic cop-off. Cop-off? It's just stupidity. We shouldn't waste any more time on it. If you want my take, ask me after we've inspected the victim. Alright, well, let's let it go. Was there anything else you wanted to know about the case? Actually, I have all I need for now. Good. Lieutenant nods. All right, let's talk to this guy. Kim speaks like someone who isn't ashamed of his accent, but does suspend it enough to fit in. Huh. Yeah? I'd say you're right, which makes me super self-conscious about doing the most bastardized white dude in Cantonese, Parisian mix. I don't know, whatever. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and turns to the lieutenant. Mr. 
guard, right? You run this place. Okay. I can definitely hear the French when he says guard. Uh, yes. He responds tersely. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Prison 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Prison 41? He looks to you, realizing he doesn't know your name. Yeah, go yeah, okay. I'm, I'm hearing way more of the French now. I don't know why I didn't. Don't raise the pitch of your voice in the last two syllables of a sentence. Don't go California up like you're asking a question. Go down like you're making a declaration. Yeah. I was I was reading too much into the, like, there is a sort of, like, flow to the way he talks, but you're right. He's very, he's much more uh, declarative with all of his statements. I noticed, though, like, the inflection up is also a heavily Australian thing. They tend to... And that dialect kind of into everything on on a like a nice musical upward pitch. <sighs> Tongue posture closer to the front of your mouth helps with the accent. Oh, interesting. <sighs> <laughs> what is golden orange like a forest fire, but smells like liquor? Are you kidding me? No, man, help me out. What is on? What is golden orange? It smells like liquor. It's you. It's obviously you. You smell like liquor, and you're orange. See? Everyone agrees it's your color scheme. We're on the right track with this name thing. Is this what you get when you call the police now? We've been waiting for a week here. Sir, I understand your concern, but we are here to do the job. And for us to do it, I need you to stay calm. Yes, of course. He takes a step back. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scenes, but it also took you a while to call us. It was you who placed the call, correct? No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the bar here. I'm only temporarily checking on her duties. Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. He looks behind a pile of coasters, finds a slip of paper, and hands it to the lieutenant. You said you just got here. From where? Are you a local? Yeah, where? Man, are you a local? Fuck, I have not... Not messed around with trying to be what? French ever. No, I live in Jamrock. I only sometimes come here to keep an eye on the place. This is just one of the many, many cafeterias I manage. But you still know your way around, yes? In case we need directions. Yes, I know where some things are. But as I said, I don't live here. I just used to work here. And I'm not going to start working here again, if that's what you think. I didn't imply that. Detective? It probably means this is where you step in and ask your questions. Right. <laughs> right. Questions. I got this. His face express expresses profound doubt in your having this. Rhetoric. Success check. Ask him about the body's location before asking him if he killed him. People give up information in the more innocuous questions, which you can later use in the more sinister ones, not vice versa. <laughs> Boy, where exactly is the body? Behind the building, there's a courtyard. He points to the kitchen behind him. I hoisted him up on a tree up there. It's a little higher pitched. And how do we get there then? That's easy. See that door there? He points to the west. First, you exit through that. Then, to your right, you should see a big hole in the fence. A really big one. And he's got a really slight British accent, and a particular kind, too. If your skills are too low in a certain area, you won't even see the skill checks at all. So there are entire trees of dialogue and quests and characters that are completely different on other playthroughs. Yeah, that's why I'm, and I'm blown away that I'm, like a casual run of this game is like 30 hours. At least as someone said in chat. <sighs> uh, let's see here. You can you can get through the courtyard through there. No, that's wrong. No need for the keys. The hole's big enough for the Franco Franco Nigerian cavalry to fit through. Who's Sylvie? Twenty to thirty if you take it slow. Okay. Jeez. Some pronunciations. Martinet. Okay. Revachol. Insul. Insulidian. Okay. Yeah, more sarcastic and patronizing. Yeah, I'm just trying to get the accent down before the intonation. Which I'm probably never going to, so 
But yeah, this dude's definitely, like, over everyone's shit, which is nice. And not even in an aggressive way, like, just actually doesn't want to be bothered. <sighs> you can get through the courtyard through there. No need for the keys. The hole is big enough for, uh, Frank and Nigerian Calvary to fit through. Why did Sylvie go away? She went away because none of your business. Have they not been telling you? Have they not been telling you you're a cop? <laughs> Am I not a cop? Everything's my business. Okay, you got me. She went away because of the dead body out back. And because I asked for her number. That's why Sylvie went away. I hope you appreciate that. The lieutenant opens his little notebook at the cover. Wait. The number is safely tucked away in a small pocket. Thank, thank you, he says. <sighs> Didn't go well. Oh, jeez. I, oi, oi. <laughs> Martinez. Got to pronounce the say. Martinez. Oi! I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad idea. Now what is so goddamn fascinating about that for you? It's got nothing to do with the lynching. <laughs> I guess I'd like to be thorough. <coughs> thorough! Good for you. Was this something else? I'd like to get back to what I was doing. Are you the bartender? No, I am not the bartender. I'm the cafeteria manager. You look like a bartender. That period of my life is over. Over. Not everyone who stands behind a counter is a bartender, okay? I'm the cafeteria manager. And what's the difference? I have three cafeterias I manage. Three. Get over it. Who killed him? I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. He, this is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is they if he doesn't know? Or if he doesn't now? Whoa. <gasps> Two out of ten game. Before, you said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who did you mean by they? Oh, I was a bit surprised you caught that. People are saying it was the Union dock workers, that it was a lynching. Who exactly is saying that? The locals, customers, the people who eat here. A lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock workers did it. Oh boy. Debardeur? Did the Debardeur themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. Why would the dock workers lynch this man? I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. So you mean the strike? Ah, fuck. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. He makes little quotation marks with his fingers. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The Unionistas probably thought they'd send a message. <laughs> might as well, might as well hit him. Hey, did you kill him? What are, what are you crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. I have another question. I guess that's it. Lieutenant turns the page in a little notebook he's been scribbling in. It's all. Hey! Let's go. Not so fast. He points to you. You owe me 130 real. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, hold on. I have one more question. You killed him, didn't you? <laughs> Uh. <sighs> okay. Yeah, staring right at the guy, slip away and notice. Just, <laughs> just throw your tie. I want to talk about something else. Goodbye. Yeah. That's just text. That's uh, adventure games at some point. You guys want me. I would slip away winning. It's 28%. I'm going to trip on myself, like fall over, vomit, and then piss my pants. Oh my god. 
Yeah. Pocket sand. Slip away is the only option. Well, we'll see. We'll see. It's it's pretty uh. It's pretty neck and neck. It seems right now. Yeah. Scatter. <laughs> Falling is half the fun. No, I agree. I agree. Uh, I'm in it. I'm in it right now. Uh, Mad turtle, by the way. Thank you for your sub. That was a minute ago, but thank you anyway. Yeah. Smoke bomb pocket sand. Okay. Wow. Somehow that that won. Shocking. Okay. Uh, I forgot to open the appropriate set of windows here. Hold on a second. Yeah, failed failed checks can lead to good outcomes. God, this game is so so amazing. Oh, and I missed this. Look at this. This is why I should open this. Uh, what a sauce. Thank you for thank you for the tip. Pretty shitty semester. Girlfriend of three years leaves me. Lowered my GPA to barely three, but at least I got a beefy scholarship. Thanks for the di di all the different content and to chat. And you for being great. It's really helped me keep my mind occupied. Only up from here. That's a great way of thinking about it. Yeah. Bad times can't last forever. Which is what I often think when I'm in bad times. It's like, time is linear. It has to march forward. And, and everything ends eventually. And we try to seduce someone, fail, and they take pity on you and help you out anyway. <laughs> Just that pathetic. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, yeah. Argue one. So, hey, I don't know you shit. Oh? He puffs with indignation. You don't owe me shit. Well, officer, you're right. You don't owe me shit. You owe me money. He turn or er, Kim turns to you calmly. We do not need to assert ourselves here. We only need instructions from him. This is the proprietor, remember. Oh, Jesus. Sounded, sounded like extortion to me. You know, I get this all the time. All the time. Some hobo comes in here, or some backpacking asshole off the boat. The next day, when they can't make their fees, they get aggressive. I just never thought I'd be in this shit with a cop. Please, just give me the money. But what exactly is the money? What... what are you, brain damaged? Actually, I might be. Money is what grow... Money is what grown-up people use to pay for things. Things like this hostel room, or he peeks into this ledger, or eight bottles of potent blend and nine packs of royal extra. We use it for everything, really. <laughs> oh, yeah, what money do? Jesus. Uh, thank you, Huckle. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Oh, man. Uh, I guess I'll be dopey. I'll show him the coins. Uh, is this money? Yes, it is. Count them and give it to him. It's 10 plus 10 plus 20 equals 40. And I'm down to 90, right? No, you see, there's a tinge of sadness in his voice. That's 40 cents. Cents are a form of currency 100 times smaller than the real. I'm not even going to take this. Come back when you have 130 real. But that's horrible. It is. He stands silently looking at the coppers on the table. <laughs> this is so sad. Isn't it evil? The order of magnitude between what is asked of a per person and what they have? Darkness rides. Pick up the coins. It does, doesn't it? Hmm. So there's a shuffle of not. Oh. Let's see, there's a shuffle of nylon. I thought he was talking. Darkness rides later. What? <laughs> Yeah, edgelord. <laughs> There's a shuffle of nylon as Lieutenant Katsura Kitsuragi looks for something in the pockets of his orange bomber. Uh, what happens near? He turns to the lieutenant. I'm sorry, but he has to pay. I can't let him stay here any longer if he doesn't. If he doesn't have the money by tonight, then he shrugs. Officer. Maybe you're better off working this from home for now. You live in Jamrock, right? It's not that far away. <laughs> Christ. I don't remember where my home is. No, don't. There's no need. A pattern of creases appears on his forehead. You really need to take this up with your situation. Or station thing. I have a shortwave radio in my car. Call them. Ask for assistance. We have to get this investigation started now. 
And the man... The man wants to say something and then thinks better of it. Good luck. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. Do I even have one? I've been at this hotel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. Use the number keys? Yeah, you're right. That's probably much more accurate than clicking. Especially since my, my foot's bobbing, because I've been having coffee. Or away? In time or space? Both. It doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. Eh. <laughs> I'll live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. <laughs> oh, there are ROG options. Yeah, you can die, apparently. Everything is permitted. Exactly. Pick the wrong option by mistake. You said fuck the police. <laughs> Old Snake, this game is, is beautiful so far. Hobo cop. Okay, everybody wants Hobo cop. Eh, I live in a dumpster. I don't care. Fuck everything. Hobo cop. Thought gained, hobo cop. Entertain the thought when you get the time. Maybe being hobo and a cop has its advantages. Now I'm infatuated with being hobo cop. Fantastic. This is going very well. Hobo cop. Temporary research bonus. Minus one composure. Ungainly and rambling. Research time four hours, twenty minutes. A why is it specifically that? Um A cop and a hobo. A hobo cop. Upsides can be disheveled, doesn't have to wash, carries himself with lur lurched gusto. Hobo cop doesn't need anyone or anything. No one can kick you out because you don't have a home. Never pay rent again. Never again, Harry. You're drunk. Why did you even come here, Harry? Go home. You're embarrassing yourself. Downsides? Are there any? I mean, seriously, give me one. Wow. Okay. Oh my god. So in four hours and 20 minutes, I will become hobo cop? Oh my gosh. You're a hobo cop, Harry. Bonuses from thoughts, less composure. Well, who needs it? Who needs who needs hobo cop or who needs composure when I'm hobo cop? Oh my gosh. So there's I have to yeah, I have to really get in the headspace of hobo cop. Oh my god. Is this the perfect game? No one commented on it? Oh. I feel like that should have been a poll. Oops. Well, it's not too late, right? Can't I, uh, un... Yeah, I can stop it. Alright, fine. I mean, it can be a poll. Are we really... Are we really pretending like we don't know exactly what this is gonna be? You can swap thoughts too later. Just keep it. Oh, okay. Thoughts are equipment. Oh! Well, who cares, then? Did you guys see the Bruce crack the top ten for subbed Twitch streamers? Yeah, man. That's f that's ridiculous. I, Bruce has some very generous and very rich viewers. Uh, I don't know what he did. I don't know what he did to attract them, but he... What is it about Bruce, man? He can crack the game. No matter what game it is, he cracks that shit. Cracks it open like a walnut. Every time. Pay it forward culture? I guess so, yeah. If I recall correctly, once the thought is matured, once you swap it out, it's gone forever. You can only replace it, but not reuse it. Understood. He talks to those subs real well. Hmm. Positive feedback loop for the gift subs. Okay. Yeah, I, uh... Shockingly, Hobocop won it. Um... There's something that, that is an enemy of mine. And maybe it just has to do with bring up my upbringing, but there's something drilled into me that like frugality and uh, like only taking as much as you need, or really even like trying to trying to whittle down what you need, is a virtue. And that doesn't. So it's like, oh, Jamorsi, thank you for gifting subs. Um, so I've I I know that it works and I've seen it work that if you if you insist, like encourage people to sub or give you money they will and if you act really like happy and try to pay it forward buy spend more like I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing it's just it's a it's a behavior pattern that I don't I was never really comfortable with or really never really knew how to adopt um that can be a good quality not in Twitch not when you're trying to represent yourself you know 
Uh, we'll eventually give subs back when my income's in a better state. Now I just enjoy hanging out. That's... See, like, that's enough. That's enough for me. Um, yeah. <sighs> Busco, that's that's 100% the point, right? You gotta be able to do it genuinely. Which I, you know, fully believe Bruce does. I respect the hell out of him for that. Fuck the police. So... Pigs go home. The street name is illegible. I, uh... I've got to... Oh yeah, this is where the radio is, right? It's in this dude's sick car. I guess this was... The sound of this car driving up is what woke me up. Kupri Kanima? Oh boy, I hope I'm saying that right. Before you stands a motor carriage. The bodywork is covered in blue and white livery bearing the number 57. Uh... I just got sad seeing the guy in his chat bombing subs and talking about being unemployed, but like I said, I think it's on Twitch, not the streamer. I think Twitch should have rules, advi advisory stuff, and responsible gifting. Yeah, Tim, and the, the big thing that I really need to embrace is that, like, you, every person on this planet has an active brain and intelligence and, like, can, can be trusted to make responsible decisions. So, um... Yeah. A little encouragement on my part is not going to push somebody, you know, out on the street, I hope. So, might as well get into the... Might as well get into the, the business of that. Uh, he's in the top ten list. Why does he have less than a thousand viewers? I don't know people... I don't know how this works. Uh, so that's uh, Cyclog. You're, you're noticing the difference in demographic appeal. Um, Bruce appeals to viewers that have, I guess, a lot of disposable income. Where you can Fortnite stream and get a bunch of 12 year olds watching your stream. That's a lot of eyeballs, but they don't have mom's credit card. Whereas, you know, a 30-year-old who has a full-time job and some uh, disposable income does. So yeah, it's, it's an interesting game. Um, you, can, you can make uh, a lot of money off of, off of little baby eyeballs by selling sponsorships and stuff. And that's, that's what view count really gets you. Is you can, you can charge a lot for sponsor deals. But uh, if, you, if you appeal to an older demo, it's naturally smaller because there's more babies than adults. Uh, and they have less free time, but each individually, individually those viewers, and speaking purely from a monetary standpoint, individually those viewers might be worth more in terms of direct compensation. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, Twitch takes advantage of psychology to encourage donation they profit from? Of course, Tim. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's everything, right? That's advertising, that's product design, that's logo design, that's the jingle you hear on an ad. All of it's trying to rewire your brain to get money out of you. That's, that's just capitalism, but yeah. Uh, anyway, Saravik, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that. And Baron, thank you for the, the resub there. Uh, I'd much rather give money to a kind funny hairy man than a slick can for st kid streamer like ninja or something plus those big streamers don't need my cash i agree and and hmm, maybe this don't think about this either but like bruce is not gonna just sit on that money right uh i believe pretty thoroughly like he's not done i'm not done we're both gonna go on and do shit and that money like it's not just going into a vault we're gonna spend it on stuff we're gonna make cool things with it so the default should be the person you are interacting with is not an idiot. At least that's what my thought process is in line. Trey, you're right. Um, I, I guess it's more just assuming responsibility over other people's actions, which is a silly thing to do. It's, a, it's actually, like, not a mentally healthy thing to do. Um, so, yeah, I, I, in the back of my head, feel this, like, slight terror that if I say, Hey, you know, pay it forward, sub, get, get that hype going, that somebody who, you know, maybe... I, I, in my fictional mind, I imagine this person has five dollars left and they're about to buy baby formula for their kid, but they click on sub instead. Which never happens, right? But I, I'm, I'm always a little scared of that for some reason. I only received stumbled across your talk to the internet podcast. Awesome work. Once I grab some more cash, I'll be able to show my appreciation. Ah, no worries, Barnacle Boy. I'll, it doesn't have to be money. I'll take a page out of Bruce's book. You can, you can, t hey, Barnacle, you want to do something nice? Text your mom. Tell your mom you love her. Unless she's... Unless she sold you for crack or something like that. Then maybe not, but... Uh, part of my thing is that I know you both from Funhouse. Those demos definitely interlace and help push viewers. Same thing for Rahul. I watch iZombie from you shitting on him. <laughs> hey, Raz. How you doing? I think that empathy is what draws a lot of us to streamers like you. It sucks that Twitch is a platform 
It costs a lot to support our creators in a meaningful way. I don't know that five dollars is a lot. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot for some people. The money is money. Hey. Uh, the. The Lo Loigil? Loigil? Luigi? Uh, thank you for the cheer. That's a big ass cheer. I uh, appreciate that. Fandom 8, I think is that how to, how to say the name? Oh, I got a hype train! Everyone sub now. Uh, <laughs> Sam Wentworth does streams, guy does funny voices, answers stuff about entertainment industry, he plays old RPG games and stuff like that. You do different old games and have themed runs, that's your thing. You don't need. You don't need to pay it forward? Yeah, you're right. Uh, Delta, damn, thanks for the big ass cheer, dude. Christ. See, it's working. Give me money. Uh, donate pla oh, donate blood and plasma in a few weeks? Yeah. I need to look up uh, plasma donation in the area because I'm, I'm, making, I'm making so much of it now. Look at all these, look at all this blood I'm just pumping out. Beep boop must consume product. Good for you. Good for you being a, a highly intelligent, self-actualized Twitch viewer. Uh, oh, didn't like him constantly telling people to skip the cutscenes and dialogue. Yeah, sometimes he picks he he can pick a persona where he's he's trying to be a little adjutant. He also said at some point that like he's played through that part of the game. I want to see. Oh my god, this rain is so comfy. He's played that part of the game tons and tons of times. So he he just got, I think, impatient as as anyone would, seeing the beginning story for the eighth time. All right, let's get back. <laughs> Get back to the game, but you have to give me money now. Remember that. I want subs, damn it. <laughs> I love this desk because it has such a good desk pounding sound. I don't know how that reads on on mic, but it sounds so perfect to me. <laughs> Misspelled name. Thank you for the cheer. Uh, Five dollars might be a lot for people from other countries. Ah, from in uh, in my country, you can eat for a week with five dollars. Shit, man. Cheap tactics. What country do you live? I don't know if you want to give that away, but. Uh, I don't feel like something you stretch too much about. You each bring something special in your own way, and people do what they want regardless. I'm sub to you both because I love your content and relation you have with your audience. I disagree with both of you on a number of topics, uh, but you both address things in a meaningful and respectful way most of the time. I greatly appreciate that. Come on, be awesome. Well, thank you, and thank you for uh, thank you for having the capacity to be around things you may disagree with. Without, uh, I understand that that can be difficult. So thank you for having the uh, em the uh, emotional fortitude to to put up with my bullshit. I'm Pigster, thank you for the cheer. Uh, yes. My my new stream motto is I want subs, damn it. Uh, Raz, thank you for the cheer. Nah, I'm I'm pretty comfortable with the vibe I've got. Um and it's I mean part of part of what I was talking about, uh, about just a sort of like frugality that's baked into my soul is that I don't I don't need a lot in this world. And I, I actually feel way more comfortable ripping that money out of, like, sponsors and companies than, than asking you guys for it. Uh, I put on pants for this. Thanks for gifting out five subs. You guys are almost to level five, though. Almost to level five. Whoa! <laughs> Compare the ease of spending excessively on subs to spending loot boxes. Yeah. Um, let me know if you guys get the titty sub. That's good. Oh, that reminds me. I gotta go into Streamlabs and add more sub gifts. I uploaded them all. I just gotta, like, make all the rules. Okay, video game. Vapor emanates from the large engine on the back of the vehicle. It hasn't had time to cool off yet. Yeah, the little sub gifts that roll around. Um, one of, there's, I think, two big anime titty gifts in there. So if you if you see one if you see that you win the prize. This must be the infernal engine that tore you from oblivion. The Capri Kanima motor carriage. Let's open the door. In the cabin, you are welcomed by a set of steering levers, a radio microphone on a hook, a pull-out toolbox under the seat, and the soft glow of the fuel preheater gauge. I'm from a generation where we could disagree with somebody without hating them. Yeah, it's not really the internet's way, is it? Hey, Ritual Juggler! Thanks for gifting a sub! You did it! You pushed us over the top! Now everyone's gonna get those hot emotes. Uh, this doesn't mean much coming from a Twitch rando. You're not a Twitch rando, Ansem. You've been around for a while. I think your channel will be much better positioned in the long run. People that sub here are probably stickier than gift sub bombing. I don't know about that. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, guys. Got a, a weird nose itch. Uh, I was wondering, have you added the seal video? I have. Yes. I just haven't seen it come up yet. So, I mean, it's it's in the it's in the mix with everything else. <sighs> Let's see. Let's pick up the radio. That's what we're here for. 
The frequency tableau lights up, and a green button labeled Prime Line glows like a feline eye. And then you hear something. The soft purr of electrical kittens. Radio waves that cast far and wide over the metropolis. A woman's voice greets you through the static. Oh boy, I don't know this voice. This is Precinct 57. Hello, Lieutenant. How may I assist you? Hello, Alice. Please assist our colleague from the 54th Precinct here. I'm putting him on. Ear. No, ear. I gotta I gotta remember like Jean-Claude Van Damme pronunciation. Ear. Ear. Oh, thanks you thank you, Busca. Lawrence's goose is forever. <laughs> Ear, yeah. According to Wikipedia, this game's world was conceived during a drunken evening while listening to Tiesto's Adagio for strings. That's awesome! Holy crap. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. Why should I talk? Oh yeah, this... This is the officer from the 41st Precinct speaking. Nice to meet you. This is Officer Alice de Met... Uh... Metre? Metre? Precinct 57, how may I assist you? A voice replies in the radio. Ah! Oh. Valulas, thank you for the thank you for gifting a sub. The all according to Keikaku emote, yeah, it's so good. Keikaku means plan. Could you connect me to the Forty First Precinct? I have something I need to report. Just a second, officer. She puts you on hold. The static crackling softly like a bonfire. After a while, you hear an old man greet you from the radio. His rattly voice is oddly familiar. God, more French. Ten two, ten five. Uh, rattly. This is forty first. Come in, over, over. This man uses relay code. You got this. You're a cop, and cops know relay code. Ten four, station forty one. I got an urgent business. Over. Ten four, ten five. What's your status? Over. Just reporting it. Just reporting it. Over. Ten eighteen. State your message. Sir. I don't know what rattly French sounds like. Jesus. Paul Moore, thanks for gifting five subs. <laughs> oh, there's so much to report. Oh, no. Mmm. Kind of new year. What is this game? I love this art style. This is Disco Elysium. Does he skip, keep skipping back a second? Like me? Oh, oh. I thought I heard something outside. French has spoken down in the throat while English is formed at the lips, so it's gonna be a little hard for you. Yeah, I've, I've never, like, taken French lessons or anything. So. I'll try, I'll try going further down the throat. <laughs> For pronunciation. <sighs> Man. I feel like... I wonder if anyone ever tried to, like, speak French and they ended up throwing up because they accidentally triggered their own gag reflex. <laughs> That's what she said. Nice. <laughs> Perfect French. <laughs> I actually think I swallowed a little air doing that. Uh, uh, I need to report my badge is missing. 10-9 over. My badge. I can't find it anywhere. Basically, it's gone. 10-4. Message received. This is a very serious situation. I don't know where I'm going with this. Uh, I need to 10-22 the captain. Over. Christ. Is it him? A dry voice asks in the background. What does he want? What does he... What? <laughs> I don't know any French, man. Says he lost his badge and needs to report it. He what? Lost his badge? Oh, who is this? This communications officer, Jules Pedu, sir. Over. No, the other one! Do you mean your partner? Over. What is he saying? He's asking who you are. I'm his goddamn partner! It's your partner, Satellite Officer Vikmer, or Sir Over. Did he lose his memory along with his fucking badge? The man in the background sounds like he's losing his patience. Fuck, there's more people. <laughs> French? I'm getting there. <laughs> That's how I feel about my Arabic last name. Sound is just too hard for me to make. Even, even you? Oh no. 
Lived in France for a while. It's a weird experience. I took Spanish all through high, uh, through school, and then learned a lot of French real quick while in Toulouse. Uh, that was years ago. And my French is trash now. Yeah. Oui, croissant. What do you think about it? It's most basic. Start a hum and hold it, then shape the word at the front of your mouth. Okay. I think I hear it. Who lost his badge? Dick fucking Mullen, who do you think? It's Officer Dick. He tries to speak through laughter. Mullen from the bestseller Dick Mullen and the Lost Identity. Dick Mullen is not your name. It's the name of a fictional detective who would not lose his badge. Authority, trivial success. Defend yourself immediately. They're laughing at you. Oh no. Ah, Officer lost his badge. Ah. Like I'm the first cop to ever misplace his badge. <laughs> Thank you, Kaylee. He says, uh, this has probably happened to other policemen before him, and then <laughs> laughs sarcastically. I don't even know where I'm going with that. That got a little New Zealand at the end, I guess. Oh, God damn it! is he fucking kidding? The whole station's gonna be dicked for this. Satellite Officer Vic Mayer is wondering if you might be joking and that's that this tarnishes the reputation of the entire station. Over here. Mullen Dictus! Oh no, I'm getting fucked. Also, short syllable sounds unless they are accented. He is ich. He is. Oh, fucking. Eh, eh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go through that. Remember, your brain parts can give bad advice sometimes. Oh, that's a good point. I. That's still. That's still really good in. Uh, I like that, though. Writing in the, like. That. You know, whenever you get that kind of panicked, like, you need to defend yourself right now response? Oh, man. Come on, operator, tell him to stop. This is serious. He's asking you to stop. Says this is serious. Of course it's serious. He lost his fucking badge. Said a late officer, Vic Ma, concurs. Losing your badge is serious. Over. Can we just move on? I want to get this reported and be done with it. God. Send for, I hear you, officer. I'm just going to make a note here that you're in pursuit of your misplaced badge, over here. Fuck me, Mac! <laughs> Come here, you gotta hear this dick Mullen lost his badge! <sighs> Fucking Christ, Mac. What's going on? Super Cup, he lost his badge! He lost what, man? His badge! He lost his goddamn fucking badge! <sighs> They're losing their minds. I mean, justifiably. Enough with this now, I have other things to discuss. 10-9 come again, I didn't get set. Over. The animated conversation in the back is making it difficult for him to hear you. New heights even for Captain Soba! Ask him! The speaker gasps for air. Ask him if he lost his gun, too! The room roars with laughter. Sergeant Tolson wants to know if you lost your gun too, over here. Oh no, half light, trivial success. Check your pockets, check your- holy fuck, you don't know where it is, do you? <laughs> I don't have my gun! Okay, it's gone. Your gun is most definitely gone. Ten nine, coming officer. Did you get my question? We were wondering about your gun, over. Oh. Uh-oh! This is a red check. Getting bullied by French police sounds particularly horrible. I'm, I'm getting, I'm getting fucking radio bullied. I'm getting cyber bullied. By... <laughs> and they're not even police. It's just militia. It's just a bunch of assholes in a room laughing at me. Uh, what's up, aesthetic bartender? All right, let's try it. Uh, yeah. Twitch IRL, I accidentally give myself disassociative personality disorder. The other personalities are all French. Damn it, they're farting in my general direction. Uh, ooh. Even before you get the words out, everything gets scrambled in your brain. No, of course I didn't lose my fun. Gun! Fuck it! I didn't lose my gun! He says he didn't lose his gun. All his fun. Whatever that means. Ask him to describe it! <laughs> his gun, not his fun, just the gun will do! Satellite Officer McLean. Requests a description of your weapon, Obia. Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. It's a gun, what can I say? A regular goddamn murder weapon. You know how they are, bang bang. He says it's just a regular gun. 
Sounds like he's being deliberate. <laughs> Sounds like he's being deliberately vague. Ugh, I don't know what that was. Jesus Christ. Detective Mullen is done again. Oh, where's my gun? The speaker crudely mimics your voice. Dear God, he lost his gun. Oh my God, I can't. <laughs> the man succumbs to laughter again. This really isn't. This really isn't a laughing matter. Mac can face the giant of coconut by himself, but Disco here made him piss his pants. Oh, I can't fuck! He lost his... Ask him if he slides his wiener! I'm not going to... Ask him! Sergeant Tolson is wondering if you are still... <laughs> if you are still in possession of your genitalia over here. Oh, my God. Yeah, I lost my wiener, too. Just lay off, okay? He acknowledges your joke and asks you to lay off. Lay off? Lay off? Tell him we we'll lay off when he retrieves this goddamn police property he's being entrusted with. Satellite officer, I heard him and I got it. 10 4 affirmative. Officers in pursuit of his firearm. The static. Oh god, I. <laughs> the man is fighting back tears. Officer, do you need further assistance over here? Oh my god. I need money. I lost my gun. I lost my badge. Oops. I. That button on accident. This might sound odd, but there's a personal detail I'd like to discuss. Uh, okay, 10-4, sir. I hear you. Please relay your question over there. Wait, before you say anything stupid, think it through. I need information, not fear. Be smart about this. Ask if he's if, ask if he's there alone. Uh, 10-4, sir. I'm not hearing your question. The radio operator inquires again. Uh, zero cool. Thanks for the resub. Or, thanks for the sub. Awesome name. I feel, I feel very, uh... I feel very uh, proud now that the very real Zero Cool has now subbed to this stream. Don't tell him you lost your gun, that's super embarrassing. You're right. Um, it's like the dream you have where you forgot your pants at the recital and, <laughs> and kept living that for the next 35 years. Hack the planet? Amen, brother. Oh, man. <sighs> oh, shit. Uh, t -t 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 Fuck. Hold on. Are you alone in the room? I need... I need some confidential information about myself. That's a negative, sir. I, uh... I got a 10-12. Here, over it. Shit. Please... Please refer to me with my full name in the future. Send 9, repeat message. I didn't get that, sir. Over here. Say my name. Sir. I will not have you talk to me in this manner, over here. Please just say my name, Jules. Uh... But... <laughs> what? What is it? What can he possibly still want from us? He seems intoxicated and keeps asking me to call him by his name. <laughs> Thank you, Outfaller, for... I will take Geralt's shirt off right now. And there it is. Mullen's drunk and emotionally aggressive, that's new. Ah, oh, shit. Wrap it up. Don't indulge his drunken antics. I was supposed to report... I was, what was it? I can't remember why I was supposed to call them. Oh no. I guess I can ask for money. Oh. Oh, I was just supposed to report the badge. Okay, I thought I was supposed to call in about something else, but... Hmm... Yeah. If I'm reading into it, they're, they're already getting tired of my bullshit, so... I've already done enough damage. <laughs> yeah, let's wrap this up. Understood, sir. Over here. Uh, I need to ask for money, though. I am in dire need of financial assistance. Send for, I hear you. But I don't have the authority to grant your request, but... What does he want? Oh, what does he want now? Uh, trying to... I don't know how to do another friend. He's asking for money. Is he fucking kidding? I don't think he is. Don't give that asshole anything. He's just gonna drink it all. Oh no. Alright. The operator turns back to you. Sets a negative on the additional fund sale. Over here. Shit. I mean, I would. Yeah, they're not gonna give me money. I had to ask, though. 
Just give me money. Okay, I heard you. No funds. Anything else? Anything else, sir? Over. Ten ten. Over. Roger that. Ten ten. Over and out. The static ends with a loud click, and then everything is silent in the cabin. Ugh. Fucking, that was horrible. Close the door. I don't know what I, how I expected that to go, but it went very poorly. Uh, oh. Oh! Wait. So wait, I have like one... Where do I see... I guess... Oh, this is the number of skill points I have, just one diamond. Read the descriptions, bottom left. There's nothing down here. What are you talking about? You mean this? <sighs> Top right picture? Yeah, the art style is so good. Rhetoric looks like somebody's sucking a dick. I mean, isn't that rhetoric? Could have gone worse. You could have literally died from embarrassment. So that's like if your if your morale drops too low, you just kill over instantly. Your attribute level determines the max level of each skill in that category. Yes, that that makes sense. The info tells you about the skills you can invest in. Yeah. Ah, oh, cool for analysts, pure rationalists, obviously logicians. Yeah, that makes sense. Hmm. Why can why is conceptual oh because I have an item. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Rhetoric is sucking your own dick. God, this music, why is it all clicky? That's really awesome. Gotta go for now. Alright, Barnacle Boy. Thank you for watching. You lose morale and basically give up on life. Nice. Just open your mouth and your soul escapes and you just fall over. <gasps> That's a excellent. Jojo Power Ranger, thanks for the sub. Hmm. We're going this. Let's do that. Cool. Ah, <sighs> no, that didn't work, did it? All your clothes modify your stats. There are secret outfits for discovering that give you bigger boosts. Oh, clothes make the man, huh? All right, let's go check out this this lynching, this funnel lynch. You see a set of tire tracks in the brown slush that covers the plaza mosaic. Ooh, I just invested in this. Let me use my Logic sight. The tire tracks were left here by an unknown event that took place some days ago. It's a message written in the language of burnt rubber. Some of that rubber stuck to the tiles right in front of the whirling in rags. This is point A. The driver started here. Then accelerated straight into the fence, left a hole big enough for the Franco-Nigerian Franco cavalry, according to the cafeteria manager. The driver proceeded to back out of the yard, but barely stopping before hitting the adjacent building, before heading south. Must have been in a hurry. Ah, uh, car drove through the fence. You are correct. correct. Hey, Roboticus. Uh, yeah, you picked a weird stream to come into. I'm basically making a fool of myself. Uh, but this is how it's done. You have to make a fool of yourself to get good at anything. This is a rather motor carriage friendly city. Disconnected to the case. I'm not sure. There are plenty of traffic accidents waiting to happen in Martinizer. With the jam right here on the roundabout, I would keep them separate. You could follow the track south. There seems to be a carnal there. Uh, see where they went, if you find the time. I think I got it. What is this? Ooh. Look at all the... There might be, there might be free booze in there. Kuno gives me morale damage. Because I don't know what Kuno is, but I'll find out shortly. Oh. Clues. Oh no. Are you throwing rocks at the dead body? It smells like spoiled meat and curdled dairy. A human being decomposes. Ugh. boy throwing rocks at the dead body can't be older than 12. 
there ever was such a thing as an ugly kid, then this is it. He's almost exquisite in his ugliness, like a gremlin. Oh yeah! Nabba Goofy Kuno! Yells the other kid behind the fence. So there's Kuno and Kuno S. Oh boy. <sighs> Oi kid, a word. Police beat this. Right in the dick, Kuno! Get him right in the dick! The children ignore you. Slob it in the dick! That's a great way to do, uh... Do, to do a, a sensor bleep. Radio static? That's so smart. That's also like... They're speaking Finnish? Really? Oh my gosh, I'm glad that you guys are here to, to tell me about any of this stuff. I just thought he was like a like Cockney street urchin kid. This is gonna... Boy, this is gonna take a lot of adjustment. Okay, now you guys need to tell... Oh. Napa Kimipi? Na... Whoa. Napa Kimpi means bullseye. Oh no. If I, I apologize for any fins in chat right now. You guys are going to have to walk me through this like you did uh, French, I think. The boy is sweating profusely. His eyes are like two black holes and his jaw is twitching as if trying to break free from the empire of his body. Hold on, what does that mean? The kid is obviously high. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Stop getting high at my crime scene! <laughs> Shit himself! The rake, Kuno! You should throw the rake at him, Kuno! The fuck does Kuno know what a rake is? Kuno's not a gardener! Ah, uh, man, I would have guessed, like, Scottish. Jeez. This game's gonna be amazing for picking a, or just, like, learning enough dialect to be very racist. That is 100% scouse? Scouse? Hmm. Scouse accent with Finnish words. Okay. Oh, Liverpool. Okay. Definitely a British accent, but there was a Finnish word. Okay, maybe maybe he's British and the other kid is fin er, Finnish. Liverpool? Yeah. Jeez, Goff, not. Interesting. Geet, you want to hang out? I'm not a knock. Fuck no! Kuno doesn't buy that shit! Fucking entrapment shit! Are you kids siblings? What the fuck are you talking about? He throws another rock. He's calling us f***ers, Kuno. He says we're fucking each other. God. Look, I got some questions for you. All right. Entertain the Kuno. Show me what you got. What you got there? What you got, huh? Show me what you got. God, this, this kid. <laughs> Tiger head. That's perfect. Oh God! I gotta ask, what? Is, who is Kuno? Kuno's Kuno, pig! The boy points to his chest with both thumbs. It's always Kuno, never I. Clearly, the kid's using third-person perspective as a shield. So you, so you refer to yourself in the third person? The fuck you call in the third person? Kuno's the Kuno's the fucking first person. That's not a good Liverpool, but I'll get there. Watch out, Kuno! He's trying to fiddle you! He's gonna put his hands on you! The thing behind the fence starts squealing shrill and violent like a firearm. The sound gets louder as the child shouts at the window overlooking the yard. Help! Pig's got Kuno! Help! Rape! <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> help! The boy joins in. He's got the Kuno! Help! I don't even know. How do you say help in a Liverpool accent? Jesus. I guess the Beatles t told me a long time ago. Help? Yeah, your banana bunch voice is coming out. A little bit. <laughs> Get back to your fucking Guy Ritchie movie. <laughs> uh, help? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, the, the banana bunch stuff was just me trying to be as aggravating as possible. Uh, to hope, hopefully, some amount of success. Harple! <laughs> Do Jason Statham? Jeez. Now look here. Yeah. What 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 accent is Jason Statham? Because it's not Liverpool. Oi! Yeah, he's very oi oi punk. I feel like. Very like, always like lips jutting. London? Hmm. Generic British? Light? Okay. I wonder if he, like, vocal coached to be, like, just enough tinged, but not so much. A little cockney, yeah. 
Is Cockney like an... I always... So, for me, as a dumb American, I always associated Cockney with, like, Dick Van Dyke in Mary Poppins, which I know, I know is not accurate. But I didn't know... I always thought Cockney, because of that association, was the name given to fake Hollywood British accents, but Cockney is a way of life. Hmm. Yeah, the Germans. Oh, man. Jesus, it was so awesome. Lucky Hobo Cop can't find his gun. <laughs> exactly. Guest account. Uh, Michael Caine has always been my benchmark for Cockney. Oh, ah, okay. Working class Londoner. Okay, all right. Jeez, I'm not doing anything, see? Everybody, please! He's dragging his dick out! Escalate, Kuno! <laughs> his dick's out! You're free! Oh Christ! I think I have to shut the window for the or shut the door for this. Uh. Okay. I was just seeing what, making sure Steph wasn't on a call or something. <laughs> yeah. Bigs are hurting, Kuno. Somebody, please! It's a full blast now. The wind carries the message far and wide across Martinez. How did we get here? How did this happen? This makes no sense. There may still be a way out. Just appeal to his reason. He's high. Oh boy. Physical instrument. Medium. Shut him down. Don't punch him. It's a bad idea. Oh no. Should I punch this kid? Ben Shapiro gets bullied by local kid. I got bullied by everyone else. Uh, hold on. Wait. This is this is what this is for. Okay. Palpatine.jpg? <laughs> Don't kick the baby. Uh. Oh, Kuno. Jab him in the gaba. It's, it's one thing to, like, try a voice. It's another to do it, or to try to be a high child who is screaming incoherently. brain damage this kid I mean I'm I'm not in peak physical physical condition right now so I am scared to think about what will happen if I try to go toe to toe with this kid and he just beats me straight out brain damage is avert as glass <laughs> I'm not sure that I can uh, again 42 percent um all right, shockingly, shockingly, people want the child. Me, people want me to throw hands at this kid. So, let's do it. Oh fuck! Huh? Oh, hobo cop. Oh no, hobo cop. Physical instrument failure. You didn't shut him down. Your fat fist didn't meet its target. Instead, it pulled, and you went down with it. Oh, my arm and my. Fucking knee! Kuno can't believe this shit! Oh, that sounded stupid as hell. It's like he's reali now realizing he has superpowers! Oh, no, wait. That, the kid didn't say that. Can no one stop the Kuno? Big Kuno thought you had. Why is it getting like. It's getting like Jamaican. Fuck. <laughs> thought you had this. What happened? Kuno could do anything now! He's, he's writhing with joy, like the power you gave him is too much to take. <laughs> Fuck your shoulder up! Fuck your knee! Fuck your fat body up! The one behind the fences hisses like a lit fuse ready to go off from delight. Ah, <sighs> shit. Yeah, a little Jar Jar. <laughs> He's Mario now? Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> That's what happens when you get high, you become Mario. <laughs> yeah, I deserve this. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, you deserve this! I'm trying to show your dick to Kuno! Kuno was scared! Oh god, do something quick, they're gonna start that again. Oh boy, I think I just need to... I think I just need to suck it up. Yeah, lift it up, let's just get back to it. Yeah, B Barlum, this game is amazing. Uh, well I'm down to one health. Because I tripped. 
Kuno beat the <laughs> Kuno beat the shit out of Popo. This kid is laughing so hard, tears are running down his freckled cheeks. Beat your fucking knee off! I told you, I told you not to attempt such forces. Oh, it's down. I told you not to attempt such forces. The annoyance in his voice is directed at you, not the gremlins. Now how about we go and do something with the public's time? Sure. Stupid Kuno. Yeah, I'm Kuno's bitch now. There are several footprints in the mud left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Well, we gotta do this. This is what we're here for. Oh, I should save the game? Ah! Did I fail? Fuck! Visual calculus failure. What do you think you are, a super detective? You're hungover. These are just dents in the ground. No pattern emerges for the time being. What kind of boots? Heavy workers' boots with reinforced toes and hobnails all over the yard. Isn't this something an industrial worker would wear? Alright, well... I'm gonna see if I can figure out... I'll come back to that check later. Hopefully I can do it again. You said to save. Okay, there we go. It's like a Sierra game. Yeah. Death lurks around every corner. You can mess up pretty much everything. Hey, Benzen. How you doing? Oh. Oh, okay. Took, took some peel, pills. Feel better now. Now that the, the boys in the... Slide is for kids. Won't hold the credible. Ah. Maybe I could convince Kuno to go up there. Hoppy. Uh, thank you for the prime sub. Talk to this asshole. Kuno, the pig's getting pretty close to me. Come to snuff my shit out, I think. Take one Looks step like closer. It's time for me to go, Kuno. Pigs come to take me in. I just want to ask you some questions. I'm going away for a long, long time, Kuno. Going away for life. What's going on there? Fuck, are you trying to pull, pig? Hey doc, hey doctor, thanks for the resub. This game's a trip, man. Joy will converse with me. Murder was the case, was the case they gave me. She has almost vanished behind the fence. Only the top of her hat remains. Okay. Child! Give me your words, child. The hanged man. The corpse looks at you with bulging white eyes. The face around them does not look human. It's swollen and ready to burst. His lips are fish-like and his tongue uh, and his tongue like a ball gag in his mouth. You seem to be holding your breath. Hmm. Let's look down. A cargo belt twists his neck at an unnatural angle. The body below appears stiff. It's letting out an ungodly rot. The smell sneaks in seeps in even through your clenched nostrils. Oh no. God, what is that? Why is it so bad? Octave decay. The lieutenant raises a white piece of linen to his nose. It's okay to throw up, officer. No one is judging. He's about to blow! The cop's gonna blow, Kuno! Oh, crap. This might actually kill me. Um, I'll tell you what. I'm kind of curious to see what this is, because I just saved, and I, uh, I want to switch over to, uh, to Final Fantasy, so... Uh, let's, let's try it. Let's see what happens. Yeah, totally worth. Oh, okay. The smell is repulsive. It pushes in from your mouth, more in, more instant and more familiar than anything you'd expected. More fever than odor. It fills your mind, flushing you from within. Let it out. I'll barf on this crime scene. I'm an amazing detective. You feel a great force ringing you as you... Or, you feel a great force ringing you from the stomach. Your body curls and pushes it out, burst by burst. Until a pool of vomit lies at your feet, and your throat stings from the stomach acid. Ugh, God. It's okay. Happens to everyone. The lieutenant hands you his white handkerchief. Keep it. Thanks. Wipe your mouth. Yes, free handkerchief. The hangover is clearly making this worse for you. You could use some ammonia to clear your head. To clear your head. Head? How do, how do French people say head? Id? Id? 
I don't know. Yeah, right where the footprints are? Yeah. Okay, where do we get ammonia from? There's fit nearby, east of the hostel. They usually have a small apothecary. If they don't, he points to the greenhouse. There's a greenhouse here, and a gardener with a wheelbarrow on the corner of Whirling and Rags. If she works here, she might have something for the smell. Oh, wait, that's him talking. Damn it, missed it. Ah, pretty clever. Tutorial agent. Having the ammonia is a modifier to the endurance check. Modifiers make checks easier and allow you to retry them. Hmm, okay. So I need ammonia to approach. Can I, can I recheck this yet? Maybe I need that. Hmm. Also, in case you missed, you can put a point into a skill that unlocks the white checks for that skill. Yeah, that's... It, it just said that. Or rather, I just read that. Um, fortunately, so you have to level up, basically, to get a retry. Yeah, I'm, I just leveled up, so... Unfortunately. Tit. His head. Oh. I guess I didn't mean so much the actual thing in French. Like, how do French say the English word for head? Id. For id. Save your skill points right before combos. You can save beforehand and then reload and add points. Yeah, I don't know. I don't really want to save scum a game like this. Um, just, uh, and I mean, despite, like, spontaneous death. Uh, okay. This game is amazing. I love it a lot. I'll definitely be coming back to it. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to switch over to Final Fantasy VI, which is a game with uh, a lot less dialogue. Uh, but I'm really enjoying playing it, so I'll be back in a minute. Yeah, id. Yeah, something like that. Uh, so I'll be back in just a second. Um, ten minutes or so. Just gotta use the restroom. Take a take a little walk. Stretch the old legs. Maybe you guys could do that too. Do a little toe touch. Get some water. See you guys in a second.